Messianic Faith with Rabbi Andrew Howard. Esther Rosenberg on when the church divorced the Jews. We were talking about how 2,000 years ago, the early congregations were, uh, well, they were Jewish and Gentile believers together, worshiping together in, in accord and in unity through the, the Ruach, the, the spirit of Elohim. And then over a period of time, there was a, uh, uh, what would you call it? There was a change in the household of God? I would call it a divorce. A divorce is a pretty strong word. Uh, well, that's how I feel. That, that, that it, the church, the ecclesia, the body of Christ, and Christ is just another word meaning anointed one. In fact, Christian means a follower of Messiah. But I would say it was a divorce because the church took on a lot of paganism, you know, came into, the, infiltrated the church, and the church uh, made everything devoid of anything Jewish. It was definitely a very subtle spirit of anti-Semitism, definitely. If you, if you study the Christian, uh, the fathers of the church. Now this came approximately during the time of the third century, am I right? I would say so, but I would just like to interject the early church, the beginning, was all Jewish. 